Excuse me. I know you. You're trouble. Good evening. You aren't welcomed around here anymore. Evening. I just got one of those faces. Well. Hmm. Life hey. ain't easy. Damn you. Have a good night. Have a good Evening, night. friend. You know what's happened in the news? Sorry. Try someone else. Hey. Evening, partner. What you doing back here? I ain't welcome. Are you sure about that? You starting something? I said, are you sure? That's enough! <laughs> Say prayers now. Hey, don't you start with me. I mean dumb like stupid, not dumb like silent. What the hell's wrong with you? You're dead. I mind my own affairs, and that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Cause no more shit around here. No one likes a loud mouth. What'd you say? You gonna be quiet? Is there a problem here? Okay, tough guy. <laughs> Whatever you say, fella. Just not this calls for the law. Watch out back call. there. Stay Some well. wild man is Jeez. loose. Don't give me that look. Am I supposed to be upset? Better hope you can throw him. No, please. Jesus no. Christ! Stop bothering me what already. Excuse me, dear. Uh, I'm getting the law. <laughs> You ain't worth a damn moment of my time! Fox ridden so Oh my bitch. god! Help me! Shit! Oh. You ain't let me go! Mister, your kind aren't welcome here. 
You caused a lot of trouble. Well, uh, didn't think I'd see you back here again. Give me a card. Hey, partner. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Okay, Missy. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Doing okay, girl. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? How do you do? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always liked Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along, too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out. 
for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But... Not now. This outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. They'll be coming through here. Keep an eye on them. thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. 
Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths.
Let's go, girl. Now lift. Are you going to speak? I don't know. There's really much to say. You ain't gone soft in these years, have you? Do I seem soft? We gotta get there. Come on. No more of that, okay? You was gonna say... What's gotten into you? Finley's dead. Langton's dead. His men. But you ain't getting robbed no more, so... Listen, John, I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. I know. I know. The truth is, I might be more cut out for this work than ranching. Or having a family. Maybe killing's all I'm good for, too. That ain't the truth, John. You're gonna be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just, you gotta pay for it, is all. I don't know if you can do both. I get these thoughts. Yeah, that's what the drink is for. Or fishing. Or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Sometimes in the past, that ain't always been the case. Wow! Coming up on the jailhouse, let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. We'll see. Christ! Bring him and put him on a bed. Sheriff can call the Undertaker if he wants to. We brought in Shane Finley. Well, what's left of him. Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame, I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley.
Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Mister? You're an idiot for coming back here. You know that? What's that you said? Oh, you think that's funny? I'd be real careful throwing stones. Do I need to teach you a lesson? We got a problem or something? You might end up bloody You're yourself. Done for. Shut your goddamn mouth. You trying to start with me? Before I rip out your tongue? I've had enough of you! Just a love tap! You're a dead man! Come on, lady. Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. 
That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. That's it! This way! That's it! <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. 